Hi everyone and welcome to our household update for the Forbes family. If you don't know who the Forbes family is, they are my great together family. I really enjoyed myself while playing with them and I got attached so I've been playing with them off camera ever since. A lot has changed since the last time you all have seen them and I really wanted to show you where they are in their lives. This video is going to be a lot of chatting at first so buckle up. I have this in cast, you can see their outfits too. Let's start from youngest to oldest. Elijah is now a child. His trait is loves the outdoors and he has high confidence. I would say out of all the kids, he's a bit of a prankster slash troublemaker. He likes to do pranks. Him and his sister actually got in a fight recently because of a prank he pulled on him. His aspiration is mind and body. He loves playing sports like soccer and snowboarding. I think he likes fishing too. He isn't scared of getting messy or making a mess. He, otherwise, he's barely a B student. His parents have been on his back about his grade because he doesn't pay attention in class. He likes to disrupt it by playing pranks or just doing silly things. Up next is Patricia. She is now a preteen. Her traits are art lover and snob. She completed her slumber party aspiration as a child and got the practice host trait. Patricia has high self-esteem and she's relatable. Her aspiration is admired icon. After looking at her practice host trait, I thought that would be the best aspiration for her. She loves anything arts and craft and her being a snob is actually perfect. Her being a snob is actually perfect. I can see her in future as an art critic if she continues down this path. With the snob trait though, Patricia wants the latest fashion and to dress a certain way but her mom is like absolutely not. You're not wearing some of these clothes, you're too young to be wearing some of them. So they have been butting heads there time to time about like, you know, the clothes that she wants to wear. She's growing up, she's getting to be her own person, but yeah, she's still living in her mom's house and she just doesn't think it's suitable for a girl her age to wear some of the things that she's been wanting to wear. Other than that, she's doing well in school, really well actually. I think she's on her way to being an A student, or she already is. And she has the best character values out of the three kids. Alright, on to Aiden now. He's 18. Him and Patricia are pretty close in age. I think she's going to be a teen soon actually. Aiden's traits are insider and geek. He has high self-esteem and is an idea person, relatable, and I think he's part of the nerd brains in school. He has a very small group of friends that he likes to hang out with from time to time. He loves video games and programming, which led him to be on the computer team at school. Aiden's very responsible and doing well in school, but he has a bit of love trauma going on. <laughs> I don't know if you guys remember if you watched my Grand Together series, but his childhood friend Carmine, I think that's how you say her name, they're a couple right now. And, you know, they like each other, but they're better as friends. But Carmine keeps insisting that they should try and make it work, although they both know they're not going to. Aiden spends a lot of time with family, on schoolwork, and his after school activity. Like I said, he's responsible, but that doesn't mean he never hangs out with his friends because he does. The thing is, though, Carmen always wants to party and hang out with him, and they fight over it. She thinks he doesn't spend enough time with her alone, he's a goody two shoes, and the reality is, Carmen just doesn't do much or have a big family like he does. I believe her dad isn't in the picture, she doesn't get along with her mom so well, and her grandma is the only one she hangs out with from time to time, which isn't often. 
So Carmen goes out partying a lot and she's trying to get Aiden to adjust to her lifestyle instead of kind of like meeting him halfway. That's the team with Aiden though. Next up, hmm, I'll go with Marcella. So Marcella is still very much into writing and it's been successful so far. I think we possibly have another award to get on a Sunday. I can't remember. But um, they're, well, Marcella and James, they're gonna be adults pretty soon. I think in game their birthdays are like the next couple of days. And I really wanted to try and make them look like they aged. Oh, wait, I was supposed to get rid of this outfit. <laughs> but yeah, I tried to make them look a bit older in terms of looks. She has glasses now. Um, her hair, she grew it out. Sometimes she puts braids in still, but she grew out her hair. She has like a mom club. Yeah, I believe she started a mom club and she gets out of the house more since the kids are grown up. James is still in his cool dad's club and got promoted at work a couple of times, but they both want something huge right now and um i am very conflicted on whether i should let them do this but james and marcella want another baby marcella's not pregnant right now they've just been thinking it and discussing it more like i have been contemplating it because we have three kids and two dogs this, this is a lot already <laughs> But um, yeah, they, they really want to have another baby. They both have that whim that they want to have another child. So I've been highly considering it, even though I feel like <laughs> I, I don't know how I'm going to manage. But sure, if they want another one, why not? Yeah, these are her outfits. I really like trying to just go for cozy and casual for her because she gets out from time to time now, but she's still mainly in the house most of the time. Oh, over time, the both of them got new traits. Marcella is good, family-oriented, music lover, neat, self-assured, cheerful, <laughs> and has the domestic trait from her family aspiration. James is neat, ambitious, romantic careful, family oriented, and also has a domestic trait. Let me quickly show you guys his outfits. Uh, we do have a new addition to the house, well as you can see, and we still have one more familiar face that I need to show you guys. But yeah, I didn't really do too much with James's outfits. He still kind of has the same outfits. I really just tried to focus on making them age and you could see it through their facial features. So he has like a few molds now and you can see like by his mouth he has more creases. But yeah, um, last but not least, well not last, but we have Charlie, which has been our family dog for a really really long time now he's actually an elder right now and I'm, I'm sad and then we have a new face here which is Merle Marcella found her on a jog while James and Marcella were thinking about possibly having a child Marcella was just like oh what if we just got another dog maybe that would help with them wanting having a child but no they still want a baby um, but yeah, Marley's our new addition. She's so cute. I'm glad I found her. Well, Marcella found her. And uh, yeah, with Charlie being an elder, he might be on his way out soon. I have aging off for this reason because I don't want to see him go. I don't. I'm not ready for it yet. Which, speaking of elders, you're probably going to notice that Grandpa Rawl isn't here with us. He passed away. We had a funeral for him, and we have his urn. I, we, I don't think Marcella is like ready to 
spread his ashes or like have a proper burial for him yet because we just have his gravestone uh well his urn in our inventory but i don't want to think about that anymore because it'll make me really sad and uh yeah anyways let's hop into a game now i know i've been chatting a lot but i need to let you guys know these things before we opt into gameplay all right so we're currently just home with marcella james has gone off to work the kids are off to school marcella is just taking care of the house right now doing some laundry but i want to give you a host tour a, a host tour a house tour quickly before i just get into more gameplay things so this is what the upstairs look like we gave aiden's room a makeover so it's more for his preference as a teen patricia's room did not change a lot when she turns into a teen i think i'll change it more i'm still trying to figure out her style and what she's really into marcella and james's room haven't really changed she just added more like wall decorations with like the kids puzzles and school crafts etc oh we do have this picture here because we went on vacation to mount kamarabi to see jubilee which is james's sister this is elijah's room this kid's room is a mess and <laughs> you can clearly see like the things that he likes but there's also just these random things like why does he have a gnome why is there just a green reaper gnome in here i i don't know but yeah this is his room um let me see the downstairs well the main floor it basically looks the same as it always has except um i changed here a little bit we now have a staircase to go down to the basement which i added in we needed more room for like stay over guests oh we don't have a vacuum james have it dang okay but yeah we needed more room for stay over guests that tiny room upstairs wasn't doing it and if we want to have a baby then we're gonna have to find some room for the baby too so I thought a basement would be the best idea. No, I'm not gonna leave the baby in the basement. Elijah actually wanted to come and sleep or have his room be in the basement. So him and the baby will most likely swap rooms. And then well, we have an entertainment area down here just so that, you know, we're not crowding up the living room too much. And uh, yeah, it has a bathroom down here as well. We still have some Christmas decorations up right now because we celebrated not too long ago. So why don't you wash that? I think she got all the laundry and then oh, really? Okay, I'll come pull the bowl for you. But yeah, I think she got all the laundry. Unfortunately, James has a vacuum, but you know the basement being a little dusty is realistic, I would say. But yeah, let's come give Merlin some attention. We don't have like that high of a relationship because we just like found her not too long ago but patricia loves really so they have a really high relationship patricia's just like really sleeping in my room and really's gonna be next to me all the time she loves really so her and really have a really good relationship but everyone else is still getting to know really why you look so sad baby oh come miss play with you or something oh my god i don't understand my sims sometimes why, why are we walking about the place like this let's try to cheer up merly what's going on why are you so sad do you just want attention all right while they're doing that let me show you the backyard here really quick oh that was fast okay we'll add it to the drive but yeah the backyard which charlie loves to go in this pool i get it it's hot out charlie but he will go and shake himself inside and get the house wet but yeah this is what the backyard is looking like we added in a basketball hoop for elijah we added this table outside here just in case we have any more like family events and we need to put a lot of food out um marcella loves taking care of her garden she does this when she's just like home 
days like these she's not going out she likes to have other things to do around the house and just chores all the time i'm gonna actually have her come out here and take care of it um okay i think Merle's happy now yes yes Merle is happy all right let me have you dry the laundry i don't have anything really planned for this video i'm kind of just playing and enjoying myself this is like I, it's a household update and it's kind of like i'm playing it like a current household in a way so for whoever is new and you guys are seeing this this is how things were almost in my going together let's play it was mainly marcella home she is a stay-at-home mom but she's also a writer and she just typically likes to stay home take care of things around the house and when james is back home sometimes she'll get out the house or if it's just her and well when the kids were little like infants she would take them out with her dad but um yeah he's not around anymore and i don't wanna i'm gonna cry i cried when he died and i don't want to talk about him anymore <laughs> but yeah uh we have to kind of very raw soon though oh do you not know how to go potty we probably have to ask Merle to go potty outside i'm sorry Merle. can we oh i just missed it i go ask to go potty but yeah before everyone gets back home i do want marcella to bake her and james a cake or mm, is that kind of sad for her to bake her own cake should she just bake a cake for James and James get a cake for her? I feel maybe we should do that because it's gonna be their birthdays here pretty soon. I would imagine that Marcella is going on to 43 years old. James is gonna be 45. So yeah, I think that's how old they would be. Especially given that he didn't we had aiden well i say we but marcella and james had aiden when they were pretty young like almost soon after they got married and moved into their first home all right so marcella decided that she's gonna do the famous birthday cake for her and james's birthday oh no this broke oh my god i'm just gonna replace it i can't with that right now is your laundry dirty okay it's not okay we can dry this once we're done and i will give charlie some attention because i think he needs some but yeah she's just making the famous birthday cake you know they're getting older they don't want anything like grand for their birthdays they're more like they'll do that kind of stuff for the kids whatever they want but for their birthdays they're just like eh it's okay um i do have this mod in where you can buy an engagement ring and i had james buy an engagement ring for marcella i would imagine like you know obviously they got married she had this a while now but um yeah i didn't put it on her before because i didn't like the rings that we have in the game already and then two we can't really buy rings in game yeah i could have pretended and just be like oh yeah we just took how much of her money and for her ring but i don't know this way with the mod it was it's was actually nice it was really cool and it has i think some engravings on it i can't remember what it's put on it but yeah this is what her ring looks like i think this is like the cheapest ring that you can get from the mod and i wanted to get the cheapest one because at the time we didn't have a lot of money when i first started playing with marcella and james so i would imagine you know he just got something cheap and you know he wanted to get her a ring no matter what so he probably worked really hard and saved up money to get her that ring and marcella she loves james she will forever love him it doesn't matter if she has a ring or not she is just happy to be married to him and that they're together but yeah i'm gonna have her the kids are home now i need her to put birthday candles on this cake or can one of the kids do it so patricia how are you feeling oh she's not feeling good what's dirty 
I don't understand. Oh, the dog poop outside. Okay. Here, let's just put that in the trash really quick. And why don't you come at the pretty candles for me, please? Elijah, you're probably... I mean, we're not gonna be staying here for too long. Let me quickly just show you the calendar. Here you can see tomorrow is going to be James's birthday. It's gonna be love day on Friday. And then Saturday is Marcella's birthday. And we're going on vacation. They've already paid and arranged it. I don't think I've ever been on vacation with just these two. Or really spent just time with these two that much. So I decided, you know, for their birthdays, it would be the perfect time. The kids are old enough. Aiden's very responsible. And I think he will be fine looking after his siblings, his aunts, and other relatives don't live too far they can always come and check on him they can also come and stay because we have more room around the place now so yeah i james like really had to convince marcella she's like no we can't leave the kids home by themselves and all these different things and james was like babe we need a vacation we're also probably not gonna get to because i think the wedding anniversary is coming up as well they won't be able to go out and have some grand celebration for it school's art show patricia there's an art show in school tomorrow do you want to participate receive yeah go for it she loves art so she would 100 percent go for it but yeah james had to convince marcella to go on this vacation because they're not gonna really get time to like really celebrate their wedding anniversary especially with the kids much older now they all have their own interests and they have to go to school for like parent teachers conference and all these different things all the kids are just like mom this that that and pulling them in every direction so james was just like we need to have some us time and we need to have a little a little getaway so he was just like i've already arranged it i've already paid for it don't tell me no marcella because we're going on vacation for our birthdays so yeah that's that's what's happening. I think she's just gonna come and hang out with the kids for a little bit. They're gonna have a flight like really late tonight. And for our vacation, we're actually going to Tartosa. Like I said, they didn't start off with a lot of money and they had Aiden pretty early on in life. So they didn't really have like a whole honeymoon. They just go out from dates time to time and lecture about responsibilities. No. Um, yeah, they just go out on dates from time to time to get them some time together. But other than that, it's always like focusing on kids, you know? Oh, while we're here, let me just quickly show you because I feel like I didn't explain myself too well earlier. I don't know. My Sims game has been buggy lately. Like, I don't know why my Sims are getting a fair of the dark when they don't have a fear of the dark he, he's not scared of the dark he doesn't even have that fear but whatever yeah i just wanted to show you that him and carmen don't have good compatibility they have bad compatibility and that's because she's a party animal they are extremely attracted to each other their boyfriend and girlfriend right now but they're constantly like on and off because they're always like fighting and they just they don't get along as a couple they're really good as friends but they're like trying to make it work carmen i don't know why i say carmen all the time carmine she's just like constantly like no no we can make this work we can make this work but they're just always like a back and forth back and forth on and off you know and it's just it's not healthy for the both of them and i wish you know they would not continue like this but that's what they decided to do they're just like you know maybe it's just us going through this teenage phase it'll be different later on let's just try to stick through it i don't know what's going through their heads you know you know how teenagers are we we've all been there so yeah this really isn't healthy for them but that's how their relationship is but yeah i'm gonna have them come in Ooh, ooh, another big thing that I want to... Oh, James is home. Why are you crying? Oh, are you good? Oh, he had a stressful day. Don't worry, buddy. We're going on vacation. 
why don't you come um hug the kids and just you know because we're leaving tonight to go to Tortosa and we're gonna be there early in the morning for James's birthday so just come give the kids some hugs yeah let's do a best hug ever with Elijah um right I this completely slipped my mind so James is in the real estate career and this is what it says rent buy or sell property oh yes you can have a supportive dynamic thanks for interrupting me but yeah it says rent buy or sell property for clients now i was thinking seeing that the for rent pack is coming out maybe james could be a landlord maybe as he's getting older you know he's gonna be an adult now he possibly might have another child just another way of having income and when he retires just some extra income especially if he has all these kids and if they want to go to college like that's not gonna be cheap maybe he could be a landlord that could be something that he gets into while he's working with the company right now maybe he just invests some money until the pack comes out into building an apartment somewhere I just don't know where he would build the apartment. I don't think there's really any space in Santa Coya or any place we can do that. If we do, it could be one of our relatives' houses and they can live there, I guess. But I'm not really sure if I want to completely bulldoze a house to set up a whole apartment. Like, where are they gonna stay then? Because all of our families, like, they have a lot of kids like we have three kids going on four possibly i think james's sister she has three kids it's it'll just be too much so i'm thinking maybe in another world i'm not sure if he will have an apartment all the way in tamarind the new world but maybe who knows i'm not sure i just thought it was an idea i I'm probably not gonna use James to display the for rent pack, but um, it was just an idea that I had. I was even thinking too because James's dad, I never like set up a career for him. Maybe James's dad was a landlord at some point, and that's how he got into this whole real estate career. And he probably still owns an apartment. And James, you know, as James's dad is getting older and he's also on his way out, he leaves the apartment for James to take care of. Who, who knows? I was just thinking, you know, the coincidence of that because when I was playing going together, he's been in the real estate career since we started the Going Together series. So I just thought, you know, that lined it up almost perfectly. Like, almost absolutely perfectly but yeah um everyone i need you to like say goodbyes to each other we're, we're going on vacation let me quickly um grab their suitcases from up here i think my soul is really just like okay you kids be good okay your auntie and uncle might come over and see you guys and your cousins if you guys need any food i cooked some I have some leftovers in the fridge. I'm gonna leave some money with you guys. You guys could get some pizza, you know, just, just take care. If anything happens, please call your aunt or your uncle. There are some emergency numbers, you know, call me as well. And Marcella's just going on and on and on. And Patricia's just like, Mom, we're fine. We're not little babies anymore. And she's like, I know, but you guys have, you guys grew up so fast. And I'm just, I don't know if I'm ready for all of this. And she's like, Mom, get out of the house. You guys are gonna be fine. We're gonna be fine. Go and enjoy yourselves. Like, come on. You're always taking care of us. Go, go have a good time. So she's gonna come out here and hug the babies. I can't believe Aiden's so big now. Like, he was just an infant. When I started the series, he was an infant. If you heard my stomach growl, you absolutely did not. And if you did, and I'm telling you, you didn't. Shush. <laughs> yeah, let's, let's come hug everybody. James, why don't you go hug your daughter? I know they're getting pretty hungry. Maybe they might get something 
on the flight to eat but we gotta be leaving here like around 8 we're probably gonna reach here i don't know sometime maybe in the morning or something maybe really late at night they'll reach there who knows but yeah i'm in here come say bye to charlie i know he's asleep but come wake him up say goodbye to charlie and you know just say good goodbyes because we're not gonna see them for three whole days all right guys so we are here in tartosa at the hotel i want to show you guys this build so bad i'm going to be putting this in my save everywhere okay don't mind the outside here i don't have all the packs so it's like missing some stuff but um yeah i really want to show you guys this build it's a like a hotel that could function as a restaurant as a pool as a bar all these different things i'm sorry i'm not doing it justice because i don't have the the wallpaper that they use i don't have the pack for it so i'm really not doing it justice but this is what the inside of our room looks like this is where we're gonna be staying for the next three days we have our bed when you walk in there's a whole closet we have a fridge the bathrooms in here yeah bathroom we have um oh my god i'm so sorry <laughs> we have tv and we have a whole balcony and then look at this view out here oh my god i'm gonna have them come outside here and take pictures or something look at this and then you could always go down and you can have breakfast you can have dinner the restaurants open all the time for you there could be some live performances going on down there anything that i love too is that like well with a mod that i have i can lock the door for whoever i want i believe is what i'm on well yeah you could probably i can lock it for everyone and then unlock it for just james and marcella and i can make this really feel like it's a hotel because we have people in this room here there's a person in this room here there's people around the building and so on so yeah i will have this lot in the description where and or i'll pop it up on the screen for you guys but this lot is amazing Prop City Builder, I'm so sorry I can't remember their username right now, but this is amazing. Let me show you guys around as well. We have a gym on our floor. We're on the second floor. Yeah, on our floor we have a gym. There is a upstairs here, which I don't really feel like they needed to go to the highest floor. I thought the second floor was, was good enough for them. Um, and then downstairs we have the main floor with some more rooms but you have like you can eat inside this is the restaurant here i think they're setting up for service probably going on now and you can have uh, you, you can eat outside if you want to if the weather's really good there's pools you can bring your kids here they have beds for them i don't know if you can bring toddlers here I didn't see any toddler beds, but there's a bunch of kids. Oh, there is toddler beds. Okay, come on. Yeah, you can bring your toddlers here. You can bring your kids here. There's a pool. There's the ocean all the way out here. Like this is amazing. And then the beach is right there. It's in like a very like close to the town spot. So yeah, this is really, really, really nice. But they're getting settled into their room again. I'm very sorry that I can't do this lot more justice by having a pack but those pack are expensive okay so we're starting off the morning with some woohoo these two were in the mood last night but when they came back from dinner it was so late so um they're woohooing this morning and james is about to use the last protection that he has which these two want a baby like he has the room right here to have a child they want to try for a baby they both want this so after this night or maybe later tonight they might you know try for that baby but today is officially james's birthday i might my, my name's booked okay i don't know why it's still saying the lottery and the other day hasn't shown up yet but it's whatever they're taking long in there okay y'all enjoy yourselves but yeah um 
they're using the laugh protection that they have with them right now. Can they go buy more? Yes. Will they? Probably not. Because they won't want to have another baby and I'm going to let them do it. Why not? So we will see. Maybe we could try later tonight and see if they um, are successful. In the next couple of days, I'm not gonna have her take a pregnancy test while she's on vacation. Like, that's just gonna ruin the entire thing. But yeah, you know, that would just be like the cherry on top for them. Almost for them to just end up after the end of the vacation to know that Marcella is pregnant. And yeah, my team's broken. Okay, cool. Because <laughs> they are not supposed to be in there for so long. But I was gonna wrap up the episode anyways. I wanted you guys to. Um, see James age up before I did but it seems like my team has other plans in mind for being really buggy. Uh, we're definitely gonna have to get Marcella another cake for her birthday because it's all the way on Saturday that cake is not gonna make it. But yeah I wanted to show you guys James aging up for us to have like a small birthday for him but I had yeah it seems like my sims are stuck in wooing the shower so I'm gonna end it off here. I'm really sorry if this is one hot mess of a video, but I just wanted to update you guys on their lives. I'm probably gonna do another video about them. Maybe not right now, maybe after the new pack comes out or something. But I also just, I play with them in their current household right now. And for the rest of the vacation, I don't wanna like worry about, oh, making everything seem perfect and the way I want it to be for a video. No, I want to play my game even with all its bugs and wackiness the way that it is. So yeah, I'm going to wrap this up here. If you liked it, give it a like, uh, comment down below what you think, especially like if James should be a landlord eventually. And what do you think about them having another child, possibly, or trying for one? Subscribe, because there will be more. And I'll see you guys when I see you guys. Bye!